Rumor has it that it's blue because blue is your favorite color. I don't even know if that's no, true. No, but it's, it was, it was, I wish it was that simple, but it's, 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 a, it's a start. I'm going to tell you a story. Before landing on Blue Ivy Carter, Jay-Z and Beyonce were crazy in love with another name. And as the rapper reveals in part two of his October 27th interview with CBS Mornings, it was almost a nod to Jay-Z's hometown. It was supposed to be Brooklyn. That yeah. was the name that we had in theory. But when we got to, um, what you call it, the little sonograms? Yeah. And, you know, it's a super yeah. small, and we was calling her Blueberry. Like, oh. look at the little Blueberry. Oh. You know, it was like a, a nickname. And, yeah. and was, for nine months, we like, yeah, look at little, little Blueberry. <laughs> so it was on to the next for the famous couple, who also share six-year-old twins, Rumi and Sir Carter. It, it just, it just it was natural. We just yeah. took the berry off and just called the blue. And of course, the rest is history for their now 11-year-old. I still get goosebumps seeing her walk on stage just because Blue's been born into this world that she didn't act. She's been born into a life she didn't act. So, so since she was born, she's been in like scrutiny and public eye and everyone having an opinion. As concert goers witnessed this year, during Beyonce's Renaissance World Tour, Blue Ivy graced the stage alongside her mom for the very first time. To be on that stage and reclaim her power, and the song is called My Power, oh, and yeah. like it just, I you know. can't write a better script. <laughs> And while the musician knows firsthand that 99 problems can easily happen, Blue gave it her all as a performer and didn't look back. I know her. Yeah, I know so you I do. So I know how nervous she, she was. was. Yes. You know, I know how frightened she was. But she and then, did it, but she, And she wanted to do it. She wanted to do it the first night, and we was like, okay, if this is something you want to do, you can't just go out there. You got to go work with the dancers and go work. And she worked every day.